So hello and welcome to the Computer Lab. And in this video, we're going to be looking at a program called Automator that is built into your Mac OS. And what Automator does, it allows you to streamline your repetitive tasks that you are completing on your Mac. Now we're going to be looking at how to resize images for this example I'm going to run through, uh, purely because it's easier to follow with this type of process. But Automator can be used for all different things on your Mac. So it's worth having a route round to see if it can streamline some processes that you are working with and do daily or weekly. Uh, and to take that repetitiveness out and sort of put it into one single action. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just close down the Safari. I'm going to open Spotlight Search by pushing Command and Spacebar. And then we're just going to type in uh, Automator. And it's the one with a little robot on there. We're going to click on him to open it, double click to open him. And then we're going to open the program. Now, if you've already been playing around in here, you might see some automations that you've created. Um, so I haven't saved any, any in the pictures folder where it is looking at the moment. So I'm just going to create a new document. And also, if it's the first time that you've been into Automator, you might get some prompts as you're going through because Catalina now starts to prompt you to say that this program wants to write or to access this folder. So when you get these prompts, you just clear them or click OK, and then you won't get them again when you're running these, um, these different automations. So there is a couple of ways of doing this. I'm going to be covering workflow, application, and quick action. Um, the best way to do the picture resizing in my processes is using the application one uh, but you might find that quick action works better so we'll start with workflow and then we'll go on from there so pick on workflow make sure it's selected and click choose and again this menu might look a bit daunting uh, where we've got the library selected on the side with all these different options and then we've got multiple different actions here uh, but it's purely just all bundled into one if I'd pick up on a single one so files and folders is the one that we're predominantly going to be using for this uh, tutorial um, but if you picked on any of these you can see the actions for these different types of um, things in the library so what we need to do is we need to get automated and assign it some tasks. So the first thing I'm going to do, I've created a couple of folders over here. These are just in my pictures folder uh, on the Mac already. So I've created one called full size pictures, which is where if we were doing this in real life, that's where I'd save all my full size pictures from my camera. And you can see all the different resolutions down this dimensions box here. Now, when I drop them into a new folder, the dimensions might not show. They might do. It depends on how quick it indexes the files. Uh, but I will bring the info box up just to show you that it's working. So the dimensions are in next to the uh, photos here, as you can see in this box. So let's get back to Automator. The first thing we want to do is ask Finder to find items. So we just want to tell Automator to go into Finder and look for whatever we tell it to look for. So we can add this to our actions box here. So we can drag it in. So left click on the mouse and drag it in, or I could double click to enter it in, which I will do on the other two processes. So we've got ask Finder for items and we're gonna start at. So this is where it's going to look for the items we tell it to look for. So I'm gonna go into other, I'm going to tell it to look in the pictures folder and then the full size pictures, which is this one here. Click choose. You can tell it which type to go for files, folders or files and folders. And I'm going to tick the allow multiple selections because to streamline my process, I might want to resize six, 10, a hundred photographs to a certain dimension. So I want to be able to select lots of different ones. So I've picked files and then allow me to select multiple selections. Now at this point I can run the program. All it's gonna do is run and look in that folder and see if it can get to that folder. So I'm gonna click run. And you might click run and get the prompt up on the screen saying, hey, do you want to give Automator access to this file? Click on okay. And then obviously then I can pick up a file from here. And then I'm gonna pick WF1, click choose. And it says it's found it there. And I click on the results box and it says it's found the photograph, which is this WF1 here. So it's found that photograph, no problem. Not done anything with it. It's just gone to find it to look in that folder. So we're in there now. What do we need to do next? The next thing we need to do uh, for the finders point of view, we can copy or we can duplicate the files into a different folder. Now, from my perspective, I like to copy them in because I want to keep my original copies as they are. And I want to copy them to another folder. So making sure we're in files and folders in library, go into name, type in copy. 
And you could pick either one of these and you can see the description in the bottom here. This action copies the specified fire items to the specified location. That's for the copy one or the duplicate. This action creates duplicates of files and folders. So I'm going to go and copy, drag that one across. So now we need to tell Automator where we want to copy these items to. So I'm going to create a new folder in my pictures folder and I'm going to call that resized images. So now we have two folders. We've got the full size pictures and resized images. So I want to sell, I want to tell automator to go to other, go to pictures folder and then go to resized images and click on choose. So now it's got start at full size pictures. So it's starting in this folder and it's going to send them to this resized images. It's not going to do anything with them. It's just going to send them to the actual folder. So if I open resized images here, so this is the folder we created and then let's run the actual automator. Let's pick a, uh, pick a picture, pick this one here, click choose and it sends it to this folder here. So all it's done is done a copy from one to the other. It's left the original here and then sent a copy to this resized image folder there. Let me just resize these a bit and get try and get your dimensions on because that might help us to see what's going on a bit. So you can see the WF1, WF1 is 3264, 3264. So it's not done if it's not resized, it's just moved it from one folder to the other. So the next part of the process, we need to scale the image. Uh, in, in your brain, you might be thinking resize, but the way photos and the way that all these programs work is to scale an image if you're using a photographic uh, editing suite or something like that. So you won't find that in files and folders. If I do a search here and type scale, it's not going to find anything. Now I could search for my library for scale. So make sure library is selected here, type in the search box, type scale. And then it's telling me where it's found anything that might scale an image. And they, as it happens, are in this photos app here. So if I just close the search, click in photos and then type scale again, it will find the same ones because it's found them all in this photos app. So I'm going to scale images. I'm going to drag it across into the bottom and anything with this arrow it's showing you which direction the workflow is going in so now we're going to do start in the full size pictures start here we're going to send it to this folder here resize images and then we're going to resize it and you've got two options in pixels or by percentage i'm going to do in pixels i'm going to resize them to let's say we do it 940 let's say we do a lot of facebook posting we want to resize all all our images to um a dimension that Facebook recognizes. So I'm going to delete this one out of here because that was the one that just copied across. And now I'm going to run the process and now it should, whichever image we pick or image is, because I told it I can do multiples, it will resize them all to 940 wide by whatever proportional size is the height. So let's click run. We'll pick two, far, two files up for the example and we'll click choose. And it copies them both straight to this folder here. So I've got two images now that have been copied to my resized folder and also been redimensioned to 940 wide. So you notice the dimensions are missing there. But if I just get the info for both of these up, it should index the files. And you can see they're 940 by 705, 940 by 705. Let's close them both out, go back in and out, and there we go. So there's the dimensions there. So it's resized both them images using Automator on the Macs, which is great. Now, the only problem with this is every time I want to run this process, I then have to open Automator up. And I need to save this as well, obviously, by clicking up here. And let's see where to save it. Let's save it to desktop. And then we're going to call it Resize Images 940 wide and you'll see straight away it'll put it onto the desktop here so i'll just push enter push return so there we've got this program to run here so i can now close automator quit that out let's delete these two images from here so now when i want to run it i would just open it from here it opens automator and then we can run the program like we did before which is all very good but it means we've got to do a couple of processes to get there there is a better way to do it so let's create a new automation so I go file new and what I'll do I'll just close that one down okay so we're on to another one and we're going to look at application now so this is where we uh, use a sort of standalone application so it's creating a small little program that you can put onto your desktop that you can drag stuff into so let's click choose 
And we're going to do the same process. So files and folders. This time we don't need to go to Finder because we're going to drag the photos into the application itself. So all we need to do at this stage is we need to copy them to somewhere. So the first thing we're going to do is copy. Copy Finder items to. I'm going to double click this time. It's, that's instead of dragging. It doesn't matter which way you do it. Double click. Copy Finder items to. And I'm going to send them to the same folder, this resized images one. So back into pictures, resized images, click choose. So that's the first action it's going to do. And then next thing we want to do, let's clear that one down. So now we need to scale the images. So if you remember, we found that in photos, click on photos, click scale, scale images, double click. And anywhere this arrow again, it's that's the workflow as we go down through the process. So now it's going to go to anything we drag into it. It's going to go to resized images and we're going to resize in pixels. And let's say we go to 1200 wide, like so. And now what we can do with this, we can save this to the desktop. So before I do anything, what I'll do, I will save this to the desktop and we're going to do resized images 1200 wide. I'm going to save it onto the desktop and I'm going to push return. And then we get this little automator robot here. So now I can close automator. So let's go file close. So automate is now closed, I've just quit it totally, so you'll see it work its thing. So now what I can do, I can select any of these images. Uh, for example, let's do these top two, like so. And we'll drag these two in, you can see the dimensions there, and we'll drag them straight onto the application that we've just created, this resized images. So we're going to drag them across, let go once we get onto the automator little robot, and then it completes the action that we've asked it to do, which was send the files to resize images and then resize them to 1200 wide. So again, the dimensions haven't played the game. So I'll just get info so you can see the folders. So there we got the dimensions 1200 by 900 and you've got, couldn't see that and 1200 by 805. So both dimensions are both showing up. So we'll get rid of both of them. Let me just go back in and out and it should refresh them. So you see the dimensions. So that's another way of doing it. So let's get Automator back up for the last one, which is the quick action, which is the one that I really like because it puts it into your quick action. So sort of contextual menu that you've got built into your Mac. So again, we're going to open Automator, click on new document. We're going to click on quick action, click choose. So here we get a slightly different menu. So your workflow receives current. So this is where it's asking us what we're going to be doing with it. So our example, we're going to be using images. So I'm going to click image files in Finder. So it's going to look in, look for images, image files within Finder. It's an action because we've already picked on quick action and we can just leave the color as black. Follow the same process, go files and folders. We'll do copy. Copy finder items, drag it in, copy them to pictures, resized images. And then I want to scale, which was in photos, click scale, scale images, drag it in. And then again, we're going to scale it to, let's do the 940 again, the 940 wide in pixels wide. So I'm going to delete these two out of here just so it doesn't confuse us. And we're going to save this quick action. Now quick action doesn't save to your desktop or in documents or picture or anything like that. It saves into sort of your OS as it would be your operating system and the Mac itself. That's so we can access it through the menus as I'm going to show you and give you some examples. Now there's three different places you can get to it from. So we go file. Let's go save. It says, what do you want to call it? So I'm going to call it resized, resize, if I can spell, resize images to 940 wide, like so, and click save. Already named, so I'm going to replace, that's because I did a test before, I click replace. Okay, so that's great. So now we've got this quick action but where is it? We don't know. We can't see it anywhere. How do we actual action this action in Automator? So let's close Automator down because we don't need it anymore. And let's have a look at the three different ways you can get to it. Okay, so if this was our folder that we just got our pictures, if we'd got the pictures off a memory card or something like that, and maybe we wanted to resize this particular picture, say, for example. So we can right click if you've got right click enabled on your Mac. 
or we can push control and then just click on the mouse and then we've got a box here that says quick actions and you'll notice straight away we've got this resize images to 940 wide and this is part of our uh, menu that we've just created so we could put several in here if I had different quick actions set they'd all be listed in here so I can resize images to 940 wide and it's going to drop them into my folder here 940 wide and there we go straight away so that's the first image that we've just created which is that one and the original is there which is obviously bigger this is the smaller one okay so that's the first quick action menu the other one is in the preview so as we click on our folder here and let's click preview let's pick a different picture up just for the sake of so this is our image we've got preview selected and we've got this options and the tags button at the bottom here they're not tags these rotate left mark up we've got the more button we'll click on more we've got resize images to 940 wide so we'll click on there it will then create the image in our folder that we sent it to so that's great we've got the original here and we've got the resized image here. So that's another way of finding the quick action on your Mac. And last but not least is we can pick another image up. Well, let's pick, uh, try and pick one we haven't done. So we've got this one. And then we can go to Finder, Services, Resize Images to 940 wide. Click on that and it'll send it into our folder here. Like so. And that's it. That's the quick action and the way that you can access it to resize your images using Automator on the Mac. Okay, so that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it has helped. If it has, please do give us a thumbs up. Please do hit me up with any comments below. They are always appreciated. And please do subscribe to my channel. And thanks again for watching The Computer Lab.